Hey everybody, good morning. I wanted to do a quick video on uh, stopping and starting a new and different way. This was first showed to me by Ernie Smith at the world famous Penn and Fletcher in New York. But um, that was a couple years ago before I really kind of understood chain stitching. And um, some other people in the Facebook group have brought this method up. And so I wanted to do a quick video for a new way to do it. Amy in the Facebook group has showed us how to do this method as well, except she does it a little differently. But um, I'm gonna mainly show you how to um, cut your thread using the nipple and not using a tool. So basically I'm sewing with some uh, Mauser Silk Rayon floss here this morning, and I've just got a piece of denim with no backing. I've been doing some names on. So I'm just gonna show you um, how this kind of works. So I'm holding my thread tail here and giving it a little tension before I start. And then I'm going to sew around and do something, a little squiggle or something. And then I want to stop. I stop with the machine pointing away from me and my needle up. Then I'm going to raise my foot with my right hand. I'm going to reach under the table and I'm going to pull out some slack from in between the last tension spring and the looper. Then I'm going to pull my piece away and then I'm going to put my finger on the um, stitch here and I'm just going to turn my hand wheel backwards a hair and it breaks the thread. Then I want to go to my next piece so I'm going to hold on to the tail that comes from below and I'm going to go to my next part and I'm going to um, do my design here on my next part. And then I want to stop and start again. I'm going to pull out more slack from below and then I'm going to move my piece away. And if your piece doesn't come away, you can lower the needle a little bit to pull your piece away. Okay. Oh, you can't see that. And then I'm going to put my finger here on the thread and I'm holding it with a little bit of tension and I just turn my hand wheel backwards and the thread breaks. So now I have, sorry, I have these two pieces. One comes from the last stitch, which is this one and one comes from below, which is this one. So I can hold on to the one from below, go to my next piece. Some people don't hold the one from below, but I'm going to. I'm gonna start sewing. I'm gonna do my sewing again. Okay, now when I wanna stop, I lower my foot. I, and by the way, you cannot do this if you have stop motion on your machine. So if you have stop motion on your machine, you need to, you need to either shove a piece of cardboard under the machine on the lever so that um, the stop motion is temporarily disengaged or you need to take the stop motion out. So anyway, sorry, so I'm sewing. I finished sewing. I'm gonna sew away from, in the direction, away from where I wanna pull my fabric out. I raise my needle, I pull slack out from below, and then I lift my foot, I pull my piece away, and it stops pulling at this point. I can't pull it any farther because I only pulled out so much tension. I put my finger on this. I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna put it on my hand wheel and I'm just gonna roll the hand wheel backwards a, a little bit. And both of the threads instantly break. And now I'm gonna move on to my next uh, location. Um, the threads coming out, this one is from below. And this one here is the last uh, stitch. So then I just go on to my, I'm still, I'm holding this thread tail. Go on to my next location. I'm gonna sew, do my, my sewing. Okay, stop. The, uh, if you look here, the nose of the machine is pointing away from me. Raise my needle, pull out slack under the table. And the amount of slack under the table is equal to half as much as you can get your fabric away. So I pull my fabric away. You see, I can't pull it anymore. It's stuck now. I put my finger here to give some tension, I'm taking my right hand and I'm putting it on the hand wheel and I'm going to rotate the hand wheel slightly in the backwards direction until the thread snaps and it comes away. Okay, so now I just pulled out the piece from below from my fabric. And if I turn my fabric over, I can see where this piece was the start of this from that piece. So I just pull this thread back to the back side. And the same thing here, when I stopped and started, I stopped here and I started over here. This is the piece 
from, or maybe I went the other way, um, stopped here and started there. You just pull the pieces out the back side where they're connected from your stopping and starting. And then I know that some people will pull their last stitch tight and just cut the thread, but I prefer to get it to the back side just and leave a little tail so that there's no chance for it to come out. So Christy in the Facebook group, she showed us these um, easy feed needles. They have like a little opening in the eye. So you, all you have to do is put your thread over the opening, pull it into the eye, and you're in the eye. And then what I do to finish my piece is I just push my thread to the, to the back side and um, pull it through and then just sort of pull it kind of tight and then um, I cut off the tail and I leave maybe a three quarter inch remaining and that's how I finish my piece so I'll show you that again you need to when you when you break the thread with the nipple you need to leave enough thread so that you can get your nipple needle onto your thread tail and I just use the quick feed needle that's really easy thank you Christy and I just put it through to the back side oops pull pull it tight and cut that off so it's pretty fast to do this um, just do another one here easy feed needle you just got to get it into the eye you pull it into the eye you make sure you pulled your last um, your last stitch tight and then you just feed the needle back to the other side and you are done and cut that off okay so hopefully that helps you all um, I'm still going to probably be feeding my thread tails to the back side because I want to, you know, make sure that, that nothing's going to stick up and pop out. But that's how you um, can stop and start um, without using the hook knife or scissors to cut your thread. So hopefully that will speed things up. Okay, thanks everyone for watching.